Let's do one of the coolest attacks from Mount, and it's the hated wrist locks. Let's check it out, and I hope your friends will stay with you even though you wrist lock them, but we will see. Let's check it out. Wrist lock from Mount. So it's so simple, so quick, and so easy. So in Mount attack, many people struggle with Mount attack because it's Surprisingly easy for him to defend himself and to escape. It's a lot less secure than side mount and many times he will defend his hands really well. So I'm... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot go for uh, Americana and as soon as he defends his hands I would like to go for a choke. But maybe he's defending that as well. Maybe I cannot risk grabbing the collar. Maybe he doesn't even have a collar. So what I'm going to try to do now is attack his hands directly oh. and either tap him or force him to create an opening. So for any wrist lock all I need is elbow control. When I stay here and I attack the wrist his elbow would just come in here and I would lose it. Okay? Or maybe it would even flee that way exactly. So I will try to first with that that bow here, that U-shaped control of the mount to come closer and bring his elbow a bit further over the edge, like so. Maybe even put the foot up and now it's a lot more difficult for him to escape with the elbow. Then all I need is grab the hand, I deal with both of my hands, tuck the elbow in and now overextend his wrist. It's not just pulling, I don't pull, I actively rotate his wrist in extension. And I grab the hand by putting my fingertips on his fingernails, like so. And do not bend the fingers, it's most of the times illegal. I just put it here to have better control, like so. Many people grab like this and I grab fingertips on fingernails, pop, close, tuck the elbow, he cannot get his elbow out now, use the second hand with the bottom of my fingers, the base of my fingers on my knuckles, like so, grab tight and slowly overextend. So especially in extension, it's nothing happening at all and then suddenly it feels quite uncomfortable so make sure to practice safe, so easy, so quick, absolutely lovely. And now watch, so when I'm trying to go for the wrist lock and he's trying to defend by making his wrist a lot more stable, yes. Now there's two ways he can do it, right? He's now choosing to activate the flexors. So I will just try to flex this way, sorry for shocking you a bit. <laughs> So I'm pulling towards extension and then I'm switching quickly Bap! and I need to have a controlled motion. So almost 90 degrees is a movement that almost anybody can do and you see I'm kind of moving to the side of his wrist here. I cannot go straight over because I cannot bend my forearm but I can pull and he's defending and then Bap! And my forearm is on the side of his wrist. And then I just tuck my elbow again and push. And that's it. And the second opportunity which I most of the times use when people have very strong wrists and just defend by closing the fist tightly. That would be the correct defense. Right? Pop. So I pull and I make this V shape here and I kind of quickly pop, bend the wrist and it's over. Also very lovely, what I love to do is attacking the wrist, right? He's defending and now I start gwokla, wiggle and wobble, so I'm pop, 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 and it will fall. He's trying to keep the hand in the middle so he's at a disadvantage because he's trying to 
eliminate movement and I'm just trying to create movement and I don't care if it's coming to flexion or extension and I'm just trying to start and there it is boop I don't care if it's either way just go for the wrist lock and as I said before right you can attack the wrist and now when he's trying to defend he will create openings for any other lock I don't even I don't even care what kind of lock but the hands are almost always exposed so it's so valuable to just attack the wrist tap, and there it is that's much more uncomfortable right in flexion mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it wrist lock from mount I love wrist locks and I got a lot of critique from people who think they're way too dangerous and honestly, I don't understand why people cannot just apply pressure with control and tap in time. So make sure to practice safely under professional supervision and tap before you get hurt. I don't, I don't get the problem. Fall in love with wrist locks and tap everybody out with them. See you next time.